Welcome to Pop Hog's Workshop. Well, you got your Fox Alien CNC router 4040XD all put together, and it's time to start up the, for the first time and move the machine. And as you're moving the machine, something happens, it quits working, and you have no idea what's wrong. Now, well, chances are you only hit a limit switch. And today I want to talk about what the limit switches do how to reset them and unlock them so that you can keep working with your machine. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is show you where the limit switches are. Because you have one right here and you have a second one right here. Then on the different Y axis and the X axis, you have over on this side of the machine, you have two more. You have one right here and you have a second one right there. Then on the back side of the machine, you have one right here and you have another one on the other side. Now these are your limit switches and they're also used to be able to home your machine. But because you have a number of these, the dual purpose is, and the problem I wanna to discuss today is the fact that these are limit switches. And what do I mean when I say a limit switch? Now I wanna go back and talk about these two because these are the easiest two to be able to see. When they design the machine, they put this bracket on right here. And it's a little L bracket that when this Z axis moves up and down, this switch will actually hit that. And when this is activated, the machine will stop. Likewise, if the Z axis goes too low and it hits this bracket, this switch will be tripped and it'll turn off immediately. And these are just little micro switches. Now I don't want to get into a discussion on how these are actually work because you also have a prong here that is not used just as you do here. And that's a whole nother topic as to how these little micro switches work. But the bottom line is they're here to protect your machine. Now I want to bring you back just to these two. Now this is the two micro switches that are on the Z axis. And these micro switches are really designed to be able to protect a machine from damage. Because if you are raising up the Z axis without these switches in place and you hit these parts, you potentially could damage it. Likewise, if you go down too low, you could damage the Z axis or damage the spindle. The fact that you have these micro switches in here, or I'm going to call them the limit switches. It is for the protection of the machine so that you will not accidentally damage it. The way this works, as this machine goes up, once it reaches the limit, it hits this little bar right here. And this is a separate little bar that goes from down here, up here. And it's in essence a little U-channel. And it's just screwed on with these two screws. The idea behind that, as you raise the z-axis, if you reach the limit, you'll activate this, it'll push that down, and it will stop the machine. Likewise, if you go down too far, again, it'll trip this little micro switch, and it will stop the machine, and it will prevent you from damaging the machine. When we looked over on the y-axis, you have two of them also. Now, if you look at just this one, if you were moving the gantry down and it came down to this little bracket right down here, then that would trip that switch and stop it and prevent you from causing damage by hitting the actual frame of the CNC machine. And the same thing applies to the micro switch on the back side. If we go up and look at the machine back on the very back, you again have this little plate 
so that it'll prevent damage if you go too far. It'll activate that micro switch and turn off the machine. So I want you to think of this as a good thing and not as a bad thing. And if you come around to the back of the machine and we look at the first um, limit switch that is on the x-axis and then follow that x-axis over to the far end, you will see this little L bracket. Likewise, if we move back over and look at this limit switch and you look just to the right and you'll see that little L bracket. So this is a very good thing that the Fox Alien people have put into their design to be able to help protect the machine from damage. Now, if you take just a moment, I'm gonna go over here and show you this CNC machine. This one only has three, and it has one right here, and then it has one up on this axis for the x-axis, and then it has a third one here. Now these are limit switches as well, but this is more specifically designed just to be able to home the machine. But on the Fox Alien machine, you have six, and those are designed for a dual purpose. Again, it's a, the dual purpose is one, to be able to home the machine, but two, and I view more important, is designed to protect you from causing damage to the machine by running it too far and hitting the limits. So if you accidentally hit one of these and it turns off the machine, how do you fix it? How do you turn the machine back on? So what I want to do is go ahead and turn this machine on. All right, so now we've tripped this and it stopped the machine from being able to go up any higher. Over here, you'll notice that you have the little question marks. So what we need to be able to do is hit return. We're gonna reset the machine and then we're going to unlock it. From there, we can go over to move. Now, if I just push the button to go lower, it's not gonna do anything. We have to hit step. We're gonna bring this back to the one millimeter and we'll go down and you can see it move just a tiny little bit but the question marks came back again. Not a big deal. All that means is, is that the limit switch was not completely released. So we're gonna go through this again. We'll hit return, we'll hit reset, and then we will unlock it, and now we're back in the idle mode. So we hit move, we're gonna put the step back at the one millimeter, and we're gonna go down. Now. At this point, I can continue to go down because we have released this limit switch and it's freely able to move again. And that's all problem is, is a safety device to be able to make it easier for you. And this is the way it works on each one of them. The important thing to remember on this is don't panic. So let's go back and do this one more time. We're going up, we hit that limit switch, it stops the machine, it won't go any higher. When you see the question marks, realize that's the problem. Hit return, hit reset, you'll see the alarm on, unlock, go back to move. Don't forget, Put this step in. It will not move unless you have the amount of movement that it should do. You'll see where it went down, but the question mark came back. Not a big deal. It just did not completely release the micro switch. So hit return one more time. Reset. The alarm comes on. You unlock it. It's in the idle. Go back to move put that step in there and then go down. And once it releases, as you see there, it's gonna go down and work just fine. So I know this is a real short video, but I hope this helps to explain why your machine stops. 
Now, if you refer to the manual, it shows you step-by-step step how to unlock the limit switches, but the one thing that it does not say, if you'll look at this, after it's been triggered, you're gonna see the question marks exactly as we discussed, but when it gets back to this point and it's in the idle position, it just says, click the direction button to move the axis away from the limit switch. It doesn't mention anything about setting the step so that you can actually move these. It says it earlier in the manual that this will not move unless you set a step to some unit of measurement. But it doesn't say it here, and that may be one thing that's causing some confusion with people. You have to set that step to a certain unit of measurement to make it move so that it will move away from the limit switch that has been tripped. The next thing that I want to talk about is the emergency stop. Right now, we have this set for 10 millimeters. It's in idle, and you can see that I can move it. Oftentimes, when you first start the machine and it's never been run before, this may be pushed down and nothing's going to happen, and you're going to get frustrated, like, why is my machine not working? This may be the problem, because as I hit this, and I hit that emergency stop, you'll notice that the machine stopped immediately, and nothing that I can do here is going to make it move. You will notice right down here, you have the little question mark, and that is stating that the machine is tripped. So what we need to be able to do, first, let's open this back up again. So you want to make sure that you release that and you can see how you do it. When you stop it, it's pushed down and then I can just push it down, twist this and it pops back up. It's just that easy, but you need to make sure that that's back in the up position. And see, there we go. Sometimes it can trick you and not be up. You want to hold that down, release it, and make sure that it's fully come back up to be able to be off again. So here you go, it's down. And then we release that and it comes back up and it's in that upward position and that's what you want. So let's go down here now and let's fix the alarm. So let's hit the return button and let's unlock this. You're now back in the idle position. So now we can hit return or we can hit now we can hit move and we'll set the steps again. And now, you'll see that we can move. So one more time, if we're in the process of moving it and you see a problem during the carve, you can stop it immediately and it stops right where it is. You'll see the question mark, release this, you see how to do that release it and it bounces back up one more time so it's in the down position so we're going to turn it and you can see it bounce up so that's all there is to it and then at that point we're going to hit return we're going to unlock it we're going to select move select the steps and then we can move again so this causes a lot of problems because if this was pushed down in shipment when they packaged it your machine is not going to turn on so take a look at that too before you start panicking and wondering why your machine is not working and thinking that it's broken most likely is not broken. Thank you for watching today. 
I hope that you was able to learn something about the limit switches and see that it's not a big deal if those limit switches trip and turn off the machine. It's easy to be able to reset. So if you found this video useful, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell notification next to it so you won't miss out on any of the videos. And I want to give a special shout out to my Patreons for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank everyone out there in the community. Thank you for watching today. And I look forward to seeing you next time on whatever project I'm working on.